<clears throat> there was some sickness that kind of <clears throat> prevented. The Lord gathers as He pleases. Um, it was His will that we not meet. Um, in this worldly realm, there was a little bit of sickness going on. So, <clears throat> I want to do a short message on the old man, new man. The fact that there's two births, one of the water and one of the spirit. The fact there are two men, <clears throat> but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. <clears throat> and there are several. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. For in Jesus, in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything nor, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. You know, I've got a bird feeder out back. I enjoy it. <clears throat> Something I've noticed. The robins never feed off that feeder. They follow a compulsory law that's within them and they never feed off of it they they dig out the worms and the bugs out of the ground but they're never on that feeder <clears throat> within us there's a if you be an elect child of God there's a warfare there's a conflict my question today is, is there blessings in the conflict? <clears throat> Are there blessings that come along with that warfare that happens between that old man and that new man? One of the corruptible seed, <clears throat> that which is earth, earthly is earthly. That which is spiritual is spiritual. <laughs> like begets like. <clears throat> the corruptible seed from Adam. The incorruptible from our Lord and Savior. But is there a blessing in the conflict that happens? Now it does happen. And a child of God feels it. And a child of God will not blame God <clears throat> for their sin. They will be like that little publican in the back who says, Lord, all he could say was be merciful to me, a sinner. But within a child of God, there is both that publican <clears throat> and that Pharisee up front that is compulsory with the old man. <clears throat> First John 3 9 says that new man does not sin. <clears throat> you know, it was not the pleasure <clears throat> of our God to immediately translate those born from above to heavenly glory. Jesus said, <clears throat> So it seemed good in thy sight. Not so it seemed good in our sight. So it seemed good in thy sight. Matter of fact, he said, I thank thee, Father. He didn't just make the statement. 
He said, I thank you that you have hid these things, not everything, but these things from whom? Wise and prudent. And have revealed them unto whom? A babe. And we see him, and when we see a baby laying in a manger, <clears throat> it's what our Lord looks at us. But he said, but it is not it was not the pleasure of our God to immediately translate those that are born from above to that heavenly glory. <clears throat> but that for a season, and that season is set by God. <clears throat> We remain in this natural world <clears throat> that this that his people may experience the two men and from that a blessing in the conflict being shown that it is not a reformation, a remanufacturing of this old man but a new man that is in his people, <clears throat> born from above, distinct from and in opposition to the old man. Therefore, <clears throat> we are shown that they are born from above. <clears throat> For he said, my kingdom is not of this world. It is a spiritual kingdom. <clears throat> you have an earthly kingdom, and those from that earthly kingdom follow a compulsory set of laws. You have to. That old man, it feeds upon things of this natural world. That new man, born from above, <clears throat> feeds upon those things that are spiritual. He told Peter, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, feed, 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 feed my sheep. <clears throat> and the more of that conflict between these two, that warfare that definitely goes on, <clears throat> the two natures, the two men, there are natures in a man, but there are, there are two births, there are two men, each one having its own nature. And the more that that conflict arises, the more you are shown His amazing grace, His amazing mercy. <clears throat> you are shown the need of a redeemer, of a mediator, of an intercessor. So that conflict that arises, <clears throat> the Lord has a purpose in that. Now, Paul said, and I'm going to read it, for I allow not, Romans 7 verse 15, for I allow, I am aware, I allow not that for which I do. For what I would, that do I not. But listen to what he says next. But what I hate, that do I. He hates it. He hates it. Like I said, a little child of God will not place the, his, his, he will not blame God. For his sins, it will not happen. Little child of God will not do that. <clears throat> Paul said, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And then he said, Oh, wretched man, present tense, that I am. Then he asked, Who? Peter. <clears throat> I go to Peter over there. Lord looked at him and, and there's a there's a you there in that. I mean, I've got the Geneva, but 
he says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to winnow you, sift you as wheat. <clears throat> but I have prayed for thee. He didn't pray that he didn't go through that conflict. He didn't pray for that. He said, I have prayed for you, that thy faith fail not. Therefore, when thou art converted, that's conversion. <clears throat> now there was a purpose in this conflict. And the Lord is, <clears throat> is not vague in the purpose of this conflict. There is a blessing in the conflict. It was the Lord's good pleasure to not immediately <clears throat> at that birth, quickening, translate you into paradise. Even the thief said, we are getting our just rewards. This man has done nothing amiss. There is a purpose in this conflict and from it comes blessings being shown. <clears throat> being shown to feel the need of a mediator and an intercessor, and a redeemer. He said, When thou art converted, and here's the purpose, strengthen thy brethren. That was the purpose. That was the purpose in this conflict. There was one side of Paul, and he said, Now there's a you there, that it means, that's a plural you. He was saying this to all of them. But then he singled Peter out. Because <clears throat> they all said, we won't forsake you. We won't leave you, Lord. We won't forsake you. But he was, he, he was looking at Peter and he was, <clears throat> and, 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 and he said, Peter, when thou art converted, when this conflict works its work there will be a blessing and that blessing will be <coughs> that, that there's going to be brethren that are going to come to you that are need are going to need strength strengthen thy brethren <coughs> peter denied our lord there's some that say our god has absolutely nothing to do with sin and I've used this I don't know how many times. You go to Genesis 20. King Abimelech. And the Lord said, I withheld you from sinning. That's the, that is exactly what he said to that king concerning Sir, when Abraham said, she is my sister. Abimelech said, out of the integrity of the heart, there is no integrity in this natural heart. Absolutely none. <clears throat> but our God said, I withheld you from sinning. Peter denied our Lord. He denied him three times. <clears throat> then, when the Lord reached down and tickled the vocal cords of a chicken... Then our Lord, he looked at Peter. The remembrance came back to Peter of what he said. Then he went out and he wept bitterly. There was a blessing in the conflict. The Lord knows just exactly how he wired that old man. He knows, he knows it exactly. But there is a blessing in the conflict. It was his good pleasure for all he does is perfect. It was his good pleasure to not immediately translate his children. That translate might not be the right word, but that's the word I'm using. Into paradise for you to be shown 
His amazing grace, His amazing mercy, and the need of that. Oh, Peter said that was precious. He said that blood was precious. And when that conflict arises and it's only in a little elect child of God, there is one man there and he loves sin. He is the enemy of God. And there's another there that is that new man. And it, and that, oh, but there's blessings. And at that point in time, when Peter, Peter went out, and he wept, and he wept bitterly. Oh, how he wept. Look at Paul. He persecuted the church. He, he threw them into prisons. They perished. They perished. <clears throat> he never forgot that. How could he have forgot it? How could he have forgot that? There ain't no way. He, he ne that memory never left him. He said, I am the least. He said, I persecuted. I am the least of all saints. <clears throat> but there was a purpose in that. The end of Acts. No, the first or the end of Acts 8, I believe it is. When the persecution was going on, there was a scattering that happened. <clears throat> There is a blessing in the conflict. There always has been and there always will be, whether you're shown it at that moment or not. That is the good pleasure of our Lord and Savior. But all of His works are perfect. It is not in man that walketh to direct His steps. He says, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. He declared the end, and he declared it from the, from the beginning. It does not matter. Your steps are predestinated from the very first one to the very last one. <clears throat> and, if there, and if there is a birth from above, and that is a fruit of the Spirit when you are shown. Look at that. You... <clears throat> When you feel, when you feel that, Paul said, I hate it. He said, I hate it. When you are shown that, Lord, there may have been a birth. I may be a child of God because I hate it. There might be. I have some hope. I have a little bit of hope. Because I feel that conflict. I feel that there may be a new man here. That is a fruit of the Spirit that is derived from the conflict. That in that manner it is a blessing that is handed down. That's a little bit of manna that's handed to his little children. Oh, oh Peter wept. Oh, how he wept. He had to weep. He had to not. He meant every word he said. And all of them said the exact same thing. And I hate to go toward the avenue of conjecture. It wouldn't surprise me if they all didn't weep. It wouldn't surprise me. I know when Peter was in prison there, in jail... They were all in that house and they were all praying. The angel just went into that prison. You know, how could anything, how could anything on this earth be an obstacle to the creator thereof? It's not possible. It's not possible. The Lord just reached down and just tapped Peter and the chains fell off. <clears throat> and the Lord just put a deep sleep on all of them. And then said the gates just opened of their own accord. Said this before, I didn't know a gate had its own accord. But our Creator, that's not a big thing for Him. <clears throat> he brings those conflicts. 
He knows there's an old man there, and he knows there's a new man. But there's a blessing in those conflicts. Oh, Peter wept. We've all wept. All of his little children weep. Paul said, I hate it. I hate it. You hate it. If you be a child of God, you hate it too. We all do. <clears throat> but that's a fruit of the Spirit being shown of our need. Even deeper and deeper and deeper. Dad used to say, as you get older, this old world, it sours on your stomach. And there's a lot of truth in that. Because the longer you go on, it sires more and more. <clears throat> there's a purpose that is worthy of himself in this conflict. And from that conflict is blessings to be shown our need of a redeemer, of a mediator, of an intercessor, of a high priest, of one who is called Wonderful Counselor, and the government is on his shoulder.